hello guys uh, in this video I will show you uh, the two wire reinforcement I provided in beam uh, this is a very important uh, topic for engineers for civil engineers the two wire reinforcement I provided in beam especially for beginners as they have too much confusion about this so I'm showing you it by diagram this I draw the beam I, I draw the beam and this and this is the first column and I draw the second column here on the right side so now let's take an example that this is in a residential building uh, and uh, there's a frame structure and, and this is the beam and uh, the both sides uh, at the at have two columns so now if you consider that uh, load is coming on the beam uh, beam is the beam is a flexion member so the transverse loading is transverse loadings are coming on the beam in this direction uh, it uh, it is uh, it consists of dead load as well as live load of uh, it may be residential building so it may contain the load of furniture the load of uh, people moving in this building living in this building so this is a beam of uh, in the length I consider so now I'm showing you that uh, upon this loading condition this beam will show deflection it will follow a deflection path like in this way if we provide no reinforcement in the beam it will deflect in that way because I'm showing you that why it will deflect it will deflect like in this way because it will reflect more in the bottom because in this region of it I'm showing you in this region it will deflect more because there is concrete is weak in tension this is the property of the concrete that it takes more load and it's really strong in compression to resist the compression forces uh, as compared to the tensile stresses uh, as, I'm sh as I'm writing here for your knowledge that uh, concrete tensile stresses is only 10% uh, is only 10% of the of concrete compressor strength Com yes so it means if the con a concrete is a strength of 3000 psi so its tensile capacity is only 300 psi so it means concrete cannot take any tension uh, as I show you here uh, as I, I show you here that it cannot take any tension that's why uh, in this direction it should deflection to deflection here you can see here you can see and uh, because of this deflection it moves from its own path the beam deflect a huge deflection shown in the beam uh, so this is a general way to describe how the beam deflect without reinforcement because concrete because here I'm showing you here by uh, a cross section of the beam the cross section of the beam oh, yeah this is a cross section of the beam and here it will deflect like in this way this is the center line is, uh, and this it will deflect will like in this direction wait I'm, clear, I'm drawing it clearly it will deflect in this direction yeah so there is a compression is coming here and tension is coming in this direction so to resist this tension concrete is weak in tension so definitely beyond this neutral axis it will show deflection so to strong this tension forces is, is this portion of tension so we cannot we cannot do it only with concrete so what is the solution the only solution to resist this tension forces this tensile stress is coming and the beam is to provide bars to provide steel bars so I'm again I'm removing the whole graph I'm removing the whole drawings and showing it clearly now if I place the bar in this direction eh, let's suppose I place the bottom bars the reinforcement in this direction so now when the load is coming on the beam it will not show any deflection it will not show any deflection why why it will, it will feel less deflection we release deflection uh, it may be due to the creeping phenomena you can say or maybe the starting 
at the beam, this shows some deflection. So it will not show any deflection. The reason is because we provide the steel bars now. And this is the steel bars we provided. So the, this will take now the whole tension. The whole tension will be taken by these bars. So when the load is coming, this portion is in compression now. And this portion is in compression now. While the below portion, below the neutral axis, the portion is the uh, tensile portion. So the whole tensile portion will be taken by these uh, tensile, rein these reinforcement. So uh, reinforcement, as we know that the steel bars have ability to take tension. The, the tensile capacity of 60 KSI, maybe 40 KSI. So it is strong enough to resist this uh, tensile forces. So that's why the reinforcement are provided in the bottom direction uh, mainly. Uh, because the tensile force is coming in the down direction, so we therefore provide the reinforcement in the downward direction. Uh, it, it should be remembered that uh, the, uh, where, should, where is uh, your beam is going to uh, tensile forces, like in cantilever beam, the tensile forces are coming on the top side. So you should provide the uh, reinforcement in the top direction. So this is a very really, uh, this is a very really basic concept of why we provide reinforcement. Reinforcement are always provided in the direction where the tensile forces are coming, and the beam it may be in the column, so anywhere we have. So to provide the reinforcement in the direction where we have to resist the tensile forces. It's a basic concept of reinforcement and beams and any any structure members. So if you have any question regarding this. Also please comment and please subscribe our channel for more videos. Thank you.